Hey guys, welcome back to Bernard from the BTN HD, and today is all about Windows 10. So, someone gave you a new laptop or a new PC, and it comes with Windows 10. So, what are the top five apps that you should get automatically so you can make yourself work efficiently with a Windows 10 uh, machine? So, these are my top five, but there's a lot more apps out there that could uh, you could benefit from using within Windows 10. First one in my list is Wonderlist. Now, Wonderlist is a great organizational uh, app that allows you to create uh, to-do lists. If you have an iOS or an Android device, you can download the app and everything that you do on your Windows 10 machine will get synced up automatically to your, uh, your mobile device. Second in my list, especially those individuals that have purchased a laptop with a touchscreen fresh Paint is the way to go. It's a great free app within the Microsoft Store that actually allows you to use uh, the touch version of, uh, of your laptop. Uh, if you're a designer and you like to draw and stuff, this is the way to go. This app is great for those art designers out there that are looking for something free and want to take advantage of the Windows 10 touch features within your new laptop. Number three in my list is Photoshop Express. Adobe Photoshop Express has gave us a free version of Photoshop to uh, actually manipulate photos on the fly. Uh, the free version works pretty well. If you have the laptop with a built-in webcam, uh, you can actually use it that way. You could crop your pictures on the fly using the Adobe uh, Express. So that's one cool feature. You can, or it allows you to rotate clockwise, counterclockwise. It allows you to flip it horizontal, flip it vertical, and you have the free version which allows you to uh, just pick a standard custom uh, pre-built uh, crop feature. So I'm going to reset it from here. And uh, you're able to correct exposure, contrast, the white balance, so this this thing is pretty pretty awesome. I, I kind of like it because it's free. Number four on my list is Google. Now, believe it or not, Google has a Microsoft app that works just like Chrome, but it's not called Chrome. It's called Google, and uh, you're able to just search. Top number five on my list is VLC for Windows Store. Now you're probably saying to yourself, why should you download the VLC app if I could just go into Video Land and just download the application and install it? Now with Windows 10, if you do do that and you double click on the application, it's going to say it's not compatible, it's not going to work. So you actually have to download the VLC Microsoft app version for this to work. Guys, also got to make sure when you download the VLC application within the Microsoft Store, it comes from Video Land. Uh, but I like this application because it manages the videos and it basically plays almost all the formats with no problem. And that's my top number five. I'm going to add an extra one for you guys and that's OneNote. And the reason why I like to add OneNote is because self-explanatory allows you to add pictures. Uh, you're able to share your notes to other people. Uh, they added a draw feature, especially if you guys have the option to uh, touch your screen. This will work well. Uh, you're able to insert files, pictures, tables which this application it works great if you're working with other office applications so OneNote is like an extra app that you can actually install but overall guys that's my top five apps that you should get when you have your Windows 10 to work efficiently and uh, take advantage of Windows 10 I know there's a lot more applications out there if you do have one uh, leave it at the bottom of the video at the comment section and let's continue adding to the list and I'll catch you guys on the next one peace out